Hey everybody, I'm Adela Munoz, Global Educator with OPI. Thank you Salon Centric for having me today to do the demo on Chrome FX along with Nails Magazine. I'm going to show you the difference between the lacquer and the gel in our Chrome FX line. So we're going to start with my model Sophia. We've already did part of the base on the lacquer. We're doing two in the black onyx and two in the alpine snow, so you can see the difference of the same color of the chrome effect. So what you want to do with the nail lacquer as opposed to the gel color is to work two, maybe three nails at a time. I like to do two at a time because you don't want your nail lacquer to dry too quickly. And if it's too dry, the chrome won't stick to it. So this is my second coat of color. We're going to do very thin, even coats across the entire nail plate. And that's on the black. With the black as the background, you get more of a metallic-y chrome effect. And with the lighter colors, like Alpine Snow, you're going to get more of an iridescent look, which is great for summer, for spring and summer looks. The same technique, very thin, light, even coats across the entire nail plate. And we're going to let that dry for about two minutes. have um, played with gel color and we've seen where you can take your um, chromes and go into a gel color and really rub the the powders in. The difference with the nail lacquers is that it's a very soft almost padding touch otherwise you're going to smudge your color. Is there an OPI gel polish top coat that resists hair color staining? Yeah, the OPI gel color, the original system, the regular top coat that we use would be this, the best one to use for, for the hair color um, tinting. Okay, so as you can see on these two, because we're still waiting on this to dry, you can see the iridescent color on the alpine snow and the metallic color on the black. The chromes come in seven different um, colors. Can I pull those? So while that's drying, I'll show you this really quick. We have Gold Digger. We have um, Mixed Metals, Amethyst, Great Opportunity, Pay Me in Rubies, Blue Plate Special, Blue Plate Special, Tin Man Can, Bronze by the Sun, and the ever popular Mixed Metals. We're going to use the same color on both the black and the white so you can see the difference. And the one I'm going to use is Pay Me in Rubies. So I think this is just about ready. It has to have a little bit of a tacky feel to it. And remember, it's going to be very light touch. You're going to pat at the very back and then slightly rub it in. This one is my favorite color to do in the lacquer because it goes on really nice and smooth. And this is the same color that I have on my nails, as you can see it. I have tiramisu for two, and I put Pay Me and Rubies over that. I'm going to move my chrome, and we're going to dust this. When will these be available in the store? Where can uh, viewers purchase this product? 
You can purchase this as salon centric. Um, they've been available since March 1st, I believe. So you should be able to walk in and get them today. The system comes with a no cleanse top coat, which is what we're going to use. Um, I'm sorry, this is the, the lacquer one. This is your lacquer top coat. Um, and But the system comes with a gel option as well, which we'll get into later. After we dust our chrome on the natural nail, we're going to file with a 240 edge file at the free edge. This is going to help with chipping. Our lacquers last seven days and our gels can last up to two weeks. Next, we're going to apply our Chrome FX top coat very thin as well and we're going to let that dry as long as possible and then you're going to put your top coat in this case we're going to use a regular nail lacquer top coat but that has to be completely dry and I'll show you what happens if if it doesn't dry all the way if you put it on too soon you'll get this this foggy milky spot so if you let your Chrome FX top coat dry all the way and then put your top coat on, this won't happen. So we're going to set that aside. And the reason for the, for the Chrome top coat, and the reason you can't go straight from chroming into top coat is because this is going to act as a sealer. If you go straight into top coat without using your Chrome FX, you're going to get a heavy glitter look as opposed to a chrome look. How long would you say the chrome effects last with lacquer? With lacquer, it could last up to seven days with no chipping. Okay, so this is what it looks like and you can see the difference in the dark color and the light color. Next I'm going to show you the, the chrome in the gels. And I've already put two coats of her base. We have Mod About You here, and we have Malaga Wine here. And then I'm going to show you how to do a French tip as well. So after my two coats have cured, I'm going to come in with our Chrome FX No Cleanse Top Coat. And we're going to do a thin coat covering all the nails. Like so. And that's going to cure under the LED light for 30 seconds. If you're using our old OPI lights, you might have to increase the time to 60 seconds. With Chrome FX, make sure that you use your lint free wipes because any dust or lint that gets left on the nail plate will show on the chrome effects. Okay, so that's going to cure 30 seconds. How much would you say that you can charge clients to add the service? The upsell on the chrome effects can be up to $5 per nail. So you want to make sure that you use the system complete from base to color, top coat, and the chromes. This way you avoid any chipping or adhesion problems. If your client is going to pay five dollars a nail, she wants to make sure that her product is going to stay on. So our nails are cured with our no cleanse top coat. We're going to come in with our chrome effects and we're going to do four different colors so you can see how all four look on different shades. What's nice about the OPI chrome colors, the chrome powders, is that you can also mix them with each other to get a completely different look. So 
So I'm going to start with Mixed Metals. This is a favorite over Mod About You. Cynthia says, this is so cool. <laughs> it is very cool. This is one of my favorites, Cynthia, the Mixed Metals. Okay, so you're going to take an eyeshadow applicator to pick up the powder and you're going to rub it into the nail and we're using a lot of pressure on this which is different than the way we apply it on the nail lacquer this is the mixed metals look over mod about you next I'm going to use tin man can over mod about you. I'm going to use the other side. This is going to give it a pearly look to our pink. Where the rubies gives you an iridescent look, like on my nails, this gives it more of a pearlized look. So you can see how different the two colors look even though it's the same shade underneath. And that was Tin Man Can. On Malaga Wine, I'm going to use two completely different colors. This one is Blue Plate Special, and this one is Amethyst Made the Short List. So we'll start with the Blue Plate, blue plate Special. Spring says, I like the mix. I know. S Spring and Chelsea, these are really nice. Like I said, my favorite is the Paymian Rubies over the light colors, especially during spring with our Lisbon collection. They look really, really nice. So this is the blue slate special, blue plate special. Over the dark Malaga wine. Does the brush come with the color? Yes, you get one eyeshadow applicator with your, with your color. You don't necessarily have to use that kind. You can pick those up at any distributor if you need to replace them. That was the Blue Plate Special. And on the other nail, we're going to do Amethyst Made the Short List also on Malaga wine. This gives it more of a purpley pink tone to it. And if you go into the OPI website and look at the nail art, you can see how you can also mix these colors onto the same nail to give it a fade effect. Okay, so this is very important. You don't want to miss this part, is the filing or capping the free edge for adhesion. So what happens is when you're going to apply your top coat, your no cleanse top coat, if there is chrome on this free edge, it's going to cause your product to chip faster. Michelle asks, with similar products, it can be hard to get off the skin and cuticle. How do you remove this from the skin? I haven't had a problem with this. When I do it on my clients, I've been able to take NAS 99 after the top coat and clean around or wipe the cuticle area and it comes off. Um, on some clients, they prefer to go and wash their hands again and it comes off very, very easily. What would you recommend for a rose gold color? The rose gold color, I've seen it put over strawberry margarita with um, tin man can. And there's different varieties. And there's also different rose golds um, depending on the shade that you're looking for. What you, what the best thing to do is to play with a palette and see what the orange colors look like, the peach colors, the pinks, and then find the chrome that best suits the rose, um, the rose gold that you're looking for. 
Does each chrome shade come in the kit? Um, I don't know if they have a kit. You would have to look at the Salon Centric website to see if it's sold in a kit. I believe it's only sold individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my top coat. No cleanse top coat over each nail. Capping the free edge. And this Malaga wine with the amethyst makes it look really pretty. Almost like a dark Pompeii purple. She's going to cure this for 30 seconds. And just to repeat that, under the Algae Power Dual Light Cure um, OPI's New Light, it's 30 seconds per coat. If you're using one of our older lights, this top coat needs about 60 seconds. For the new people tuning in, Again, you can find all of these products at Salon Centric. OPI makes seven different chrome colors that you can choose from. And it, you need the, the top coat. It's a no cleanse top coat that you can also use over gel color by itself. Okay, the last nail we're going to do is our French tip. So if I already applied two coats of bubble bath, and I've taken NAS 99 to clean the free edge here to make kind of like a cut. So here's a little trick that I like to use with my French tip. I've taken Alpine Snow onto my foil. You can use the back of a brush or you can use a dotting tool. In this case, I'm going to use my dotting tool because her nails a little short. I'm going to pick up my Alpine Snow and it's going to pick up enough color to give it an even consistency. If you're good at taking your brush straight from the bottle and drawing in your French tip, that's good. You could do it that way too. I have a little bit of a harder time doing it that way. And with this, because gel color is so forgiving, if you don't get a perfect smile, you can always come in with your NAS 99 and your cleanup brush to perfect that smile line. And that's going to cure for 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the No Cleanse Top Coat over the entire nail. And then we're going to chrome it with, I think we're going to use mixed metals again, just on the tip. Cynthia says, that's a great tip. Thanks for showing that a dotting tool can help make a French tip. It's the first time she's seen that. Oh, you're welcome, Cynthia. I, I struggled a lot with that in the beginning, is taking the brush and getting a perfect line. Um, sometimes when you take your brushes and go straight in, you'll get streaks or uneven color and with the dotting tool I, I seem to get more even coverage and you can like I said you can also use the back of a brush if you have a small enough brush. So we're using the no cleanse top coat and again rather than putting it just on the edge I'm going to cover the entire nail because we don't want any unevenness or a dent there, a high spot, when it's time to put our chrome. And that's going to cure for another 30 seconds. So remember to use the entire line from base coat to gel color to top coats and the powders as they are. I find the best results this way. When Chrome first came out and we were going all over the internet trying to find uh, chromes, we always got an unpredictable result because you used one brand top coat, one brand um, powders, one brand base coat, 
to get the effect. So I'm so happy that OPI came out with their version because I don't have to worry about getting it. I can walk into my salon centric and it's available at any time. Okay, so next I'm going to use my mixed metals. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of powder and we're, go we're going to apply it right at the tip. And with this, like I said, it's also very, very forgiving. So if you're not perfectly straight on the line, you can clean that up. And I want to make a correction that the chromes are available in eight colors, not seven. Eight chrome colors available. And again, you want to take your file and just lightly remove the chrome from the free edge so that when it's time to top coat it, you get better adhesion. Vanessa says this is an awesome demonstration and that she'll be doing this for her clients. Very good, Vanessa. I'm glad you liked it. Go ahead and cure. That's going to cure for another 30 seconds. And again, what's really nice about the chrome is that you can upsell up to $5 per nail. And chrome's not going anywhere. Everybody still loves it. The, the difference with the lacquer, one thing that I like about the lacquer is that there's still some clients that shy away from the gel colors. So you want to be able to do this to them in a, in a lacquer. Also, there's clients that like to match their toes. In my salon, we don't do a lot of gel on the toes, so this is a nice way to match their hands to the toes. So this is the final look and your French tip. So on this one, we did two nails with Mod About You, mixed metals of the chrome, tin man can to give it a pearly look. These two had Malaga wine with the blue plate special and Amethyst made the short line. And on this one we did a French tip using Alpine snow and mixed metals bubble bath in the back. So thank you so much for watching. Again you can find all of these colors and the top coats at your local salon centric. Very excited to be here, and thank you all for tuning in. You can follow me at Artistic Fontana if you want to look at more designs. Should we check out the chrome wall, the, the polish wall? Yes. Let's look at the polish wall here at OPI so you can see all of our available colors. This is a really cool wall. Thank you so much again, Salon Centric, for having me. Look at all of this rainbow of color. I love it. Thank you again for tuning in and watching my demonstration. And again, my Instagram handle is Artistic Fontana. Thank you, Nails Magazine.